Hi Karen, lovely to meet you and how can I help you today? Hi Ryan, so my biggest problem is, and it's always been a problem, I pretty much love most of my body like you can see, I've got good arms, I've got amazing eyebrows, but I can never lose this, this bit of fat around here and, and why? I just don't understand. So Karen, when it comes to fat loss, you cannot pick and choose where the fat comes off first. Body fat drops from everywhere, just unfortunately stubborn body fat areas seem to hold on for a little bit longer. You cannot actually train away body fat and specifically target the fat you're talking around, around your midsection, it's impossible. You just need to create a caloric deficit whichever way you choose to do that, with a combination of food and exercise, and after a while if you stay consistent the fat will come off. Okay, so second question. One of my biggest concerns and fears are training upper body because I love my legs, I love everything going on down here, but I just want to keep my feminine arms, I want to keep my lovely toned shoulders, and I know if I train weights too heavy, I'm going to get edge. No, Karen, that's not something you need to worry about. Hormones, genetics, the way you train, and the calories you consume play a massive part in you building muscle. If you train weights and train arms and train shoulders, you're not gonna build muscle and end up looking like a man. That's definitely not going to be the case. Firstly, your goal is to lose body fat, lose weight. So we've set you eating in a calorie deficit. You need to be eating calorie surplus, so lots of calories to change up, to obviously enhance your muscle growth. And yet again, Hormones are going to play a massive part in that. So unless your testosterone levels are going to be through the roof, you are not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the next couple of weeks. So I've tried everything. I've tried Atkins, Keto, Weight Watchers, done it all, done everything. But I know for me it's just not going to work. I've got a slow metabolism and it's just what God gave me. So many people have slow and fast metabolisms, but we can only blame a very small percentage on that when it comes to us actually losing weight. The majority of people hold on to this idea and use it as a massive excuse when it comes to fat loss. Unfortunately, metabolism is not something you can solely blame your fat loss on. It usually comes down to you inserting too much food into your mouth and not moving enough to get rid of those calories. So every single day, at least three hours of cardio. I mean, I'm in that bloody gym, I'm sweating like a wild bush pig. My makeup's down my face, everyone's looking at me like, hey, sweaty, and I just can't lose this weight. You don't necessarily need to be doing cardio, and a lot of ladies especially get obsessed with doing cardio. I'm constantly going over this with many clients, not just you, Karen, because they get obsessed with doing things like spinning and running, and just the idea is burning as many calories as they possibly can is the only way to lose weight or get in shape when actually you need to be using your calories not burning them resistance training and strength training is going to be more beneficial to you improving your body your balance your strength your flexibility not just running for hours on a treadmill or sat on a spinning bike in a gym with a lot of other sweaty idiots around you but what i really want to know is what abs exercise the best to to do the body fat because I'm literally every single day, twice a day, doing abs. I, I, what, I'm like this, okay? Make me bloody bed, legs up, and I'm, I'm doing them. And then it just won't go, won't go. No, I'm sorry to break it to you, Karen. Unfortunately, you cannot crunch your way to a six pack. The only way you are going to get visible abs is by maintaining a calorie deficit for long enough so that you can actually see them. Crunches will develop muscle, just like a bicep curl will develop the bicep, but unless you drop your body fat percentage, you will never see your abs. Control what you're doing in the kitchen, not just what you're controlling in the gym. So, it's like Monday I do three hours cardio, Tuesday I do gym and cardio, Wednesday I do Zumba and cardio, and then I swim, Thursday spinning, but we love spinning, me and Jake, oh, oh spinny, spinny, and then on Friday I do, I do step, and I do bounce, and then on Saturday I do some three hours yoga, and then Sunday I do cardio, plus yoga, plus gym, plus I go around and see about it, um, but don't tell no one about that one, so we don't want my husband to know, and then yeah, always working out. So you can overtrain, and what happens when we overtrain, we can actually 
cause less benefit the more positive gains within our muscle so what we have to understand and this is something i speak with with a lot of my clients is that rest days are important and instead of calling them rest days just psychologically call them grow days so that way you know on your rest days it's actually when your muscles are growing the muscles don't grow in the gym when you're they're under resistance and the tearing they're actually growing on them rest days that's when they'll recuperate and build now there's some amazing people on that instagram and i watch one called vivian we'll just call them viv she's got a bum like this unbelievable a waist like this bilby's like this and she just she's unbelievable and I, I watch her videos i copy the videos i'm doing what she's doing but i don't look like vivian no now the chances are that some of the influencers and people you follow on social media lead a very different life to you they don't work and that's their main job they get paid to look like that some of them also will be taking performance enhancing drugs which helps a lot also they have unbelievable dedication no kids a life where they can do absolutely anything they want and some of them exercises they're doing actually on instagram just look more pretty than actually benefit you in any terms of your workout progress or your body now my biggest concern is that people say it's 80 percent diet 20 percent training or is it 70 percent diet and fat anyway i eat healthy i literally eat like a clean lean mother machine I have a salad for breakfast, then I have a salad for lunch, then I have a salad for dinner, and then finally in the evening, oh yeah, I have another salad there with some nuts. And I just don't understand why I can't lose weight. Probably the most commonly asked question, and it's very easy to indicate where people are going wrong. So as you've said, Karen, you eat four salads a day, which is fantastic. Healthy food doesn't quite cut it. Healthy food still contains calories, and unless you understand the calories you are consuming every single day for you, your body type, and your results, you are not going to make any progress. So I guarantee before even asking your next question of how much olive oil you put on that salad, which I know you are going to tell me is quite a lot and you're not tracking how much you actually put on there, that's one of the places where you're going massively wrong when that lovely, healthy, low calorie salad has just been bumped up probably by about six or seven hundred calories taking into consideration that one tablespoon of olive oil is around 120 calories I'm just gonna have a quick snack you don't mind so i mean yeah with the salads four times a day i have a couple of bags of chocolates but we know there's not a lot of calories in these chocolates but what i do i make sure you see i have these at 5 30 just before six o'clock because of course after six o'clock you get fat so if i have them now it's okay you don't need to worry about carbohydrates, they are not going to make you fat. Calories are going to make you fat and it doesn't matter if you eat them at 9 o'clock in the morning or 10 p.m. at night. It's calories, not carbohydrates. We just tend to use carbohydrates more around us training because it's an energy source food. It's not going to make you fat. Anybody who doesn't want to eat carbohydrates for the rest of their life is definitely not a friend of mine because that would be a miserable life to live. You do not need to deduct carbohydrates from your meal. You just need to understand how much food you need to consume every single day. And it doesn't matter in what window you eat that food, just stick to them calories that you need to create a calorie deficit and you will lose weight. So I understand everything you said. Thank you for your time. Carbs after six are fine. Oh my gosh, uh, I don't have to train so much. Even better, I can train weights and won't look like a man. Oosh. And yeah, basically, if I map it, if I can get this sticking up like an ass, like a mini Mediterranean donkey, we get that tiny little waist. All good. I reckon, what, a week? Two? Maybe. Just be consistent in your training and your nutrition and you will make results now karen fuck off you fuck off i'm off for a steak pal <laughs>